morning, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Market Review of the SPY. Just reviewing this here today. What a move in the market today. I mean, an incredible move in the market today. The market's at the low of the day very quickly, and you could have bought it aggressively. It was one of those days where, you know, you look at it and you almost say, wow. I mean, that's just, that's what I can say. I mean, that's what I said really the other day when I looked at the gap in the market in the morning, when I got up and looked at the pre-market of the queues and the spy, I said, oh, my Lanta. And same thing here today. 72 million is the volume in this market today into the close here. Rallied all the way up to basically 209. Yeah, 209. So everything that I said was going to happen for 2015 is setting up. It's It never did anything wrong. Again, the bullish call that I made back in 2014 for the market for this year is intact, never failed, held the support, held the least level of support, is continuing, never did anything wrong, and people actually shorted this market. And the market had a lot of red in it in December, in January. I saw it. Every time I saw the bearish gaps and the large red bars, I double, triple checked my reading of the price action in the market. And it was fine. I mean, I kept seeing what I originally saw, which was that the market would hold and continue higher and make a new high and continue to move forward. And that is what is playing out here today. And I got to tell you, I mean, for the market to gap up where it did today, hold as quickly as it did, basically 207 here and rally and lift is amazing. And this very well could be the low of the market for the entire calendar year here. It's approximately 198. Okay. So I have no idea where we got tomorrow morning. I mean, I really have no idea where we got tomorrow morning. We could do any one of a number of things. One, we could gap up crazy tomorrow morning, like really gap up tomorrow morning. Or we could have a small gap down. Or we could actually gap down under 208 tomorrow morning. But there is essentially nothing that the market can do to be bearish here at all that I can see that's going to take place. So, so in other words, what I'm saying is even if the market ends up gapping down tomorrow under 208 or 207, whatever, you know, even if the market would have a red day tomorrow, which who knows it could because I don't know where we're going to open in the gap. This market is confirming it's higher. This market is doing it. I mean, this market is intact. It never was not intact. It never broke. Okay, there's a difference here. That's what I was talking about in one of the webinars. The market never broke its trend. It was in an uptrend. It was holding the uptrend. I know people read trends based on pivot pivots, but the, I don't. I don't do that at all. And actually doesn't work. It doesn't work. And anyone that's ever traded for more than a month would know that, or a week even. You can't read trends based on higher highs and higher lows and lower highs and lower lows. It don't work. I'm convinced more than ever, specifically because I've been reading this market so well and it's been so challenging, but I'm seeing it as perfect. And I'm, I'm like, I mean, this is perfect. I can't say it enough how perfect it is. Uh, but really, the only way to correctly read trends in a chart is gaps. That's just the only way you're going to ever get it right consistently. And there are times when there's a bearish gap in an uptrend, in which case there was in this market. This really was a bearish gap that happened back here in the SPY on 1.5. There also was one here, 12.30. So there was bearish gaps. Could you have shorted these? Yes. Could you have made money shorting these on the day? Yes. Were the entries to short this for the longer term trend though? No. These gaps did not break the trend of the overall trend of the market. And this is where you have to separate looking at intraday for the longer term. In other words, if you're a day trader, you can do any golden gap that rates 20 points or more if it sets up and holds the support or resistance whether you're going long or short. If you want to do an overnight position, the best overnight positions actually are something what I term a corrective gap or a continuation gap to do overnight positions to hold for longer term. Okay. A corrective gap is something that breaks the trend in a chart or sets a new trend in a chart. 
that has not set up here in the SPY. Okay, so there was nothing wrong with this market. It was holding the uptrend, even though there were bearish gaps that you could have shorted as day trades and made money shorting. No one should have been overnight short the market, and traders were. A lot of traders really thought this market was lower. I did say that on a video the other day. Some of them are not out of this yet. Some of them did get out here today. Some of them are not out of this yet. Some of them will not be out of this till we get over 210. Some of this will give this more room and not believe even what is happening today, which is insane. And I've said that in other videos. This is utter strength. This is institutional buying. It's happening in the market today. 100% conviction. It's higher. Boom. There it is. All right. You can be more nimble when you day trade. When you swing trade and core trade, you really got to get it right for longer term stuff. And people give stuff too much room. I mean, you got to know what something's going to do. And if you were overnight short the market, you should be out of this today. If you even gave it a chance, you should have not been in it at all. But even if you did it, you should have been out of it before today. But you really definitely have to be out of it today. And I, and I know that not everybody's out of this today. I just know. Again, I don't follow what other people are doing, but I, I get emails from people and I, and I hear people ask me questions on the webinars and all these traders think the market was broken and short and they were shorting it and they were looking at the lower lows and lower highs. And I kept saying in every webinar, the market was still strong and you don't read trends by looking at pivot formations. If that was it, no one would ever lose in the market. So get real. It takes more than that. It's a specific event that happens in a chart and it's only in the price section that happens in gaps. That's a way that you can tell what is happening in the trend of a chart, whether to day trade it or swing trade it or overnight trade it or long term and be an investor in something. It's the reason I've called the market so well. Doing day trading gaps, and I like to short bearish gaps, but I will go long bullish gaps. And I did go long the market today in the QQ is in the SPY in a 15 minute, which I'll go over in a minute. But this will be a year. Even if you like to short as much as I love to short, you're going to have to go long because there's going to be some days that you're not going to be able to short. There were shorts today. Not every short today followed through, though, and worked. Was it because of the market? Maybe. Some of them were because of the market. But the reality is you still have to look at every single individual gap on its own, rate it, and see the setup and play it. You can do a trade twice if you want to and really no more than that. And absolutely no one should be doing anything where they continue to go after something over and over and over in this type of market. And that is what I'm seeing that's kind of going to be setting up here because the people that did short this market that are going to take it out, whether they got out today or the day before or whether they get out tomorrow or over 210, are going to not give up on this market. This market will have another attempt where traders will attempt to short it again later this year. Could be end of the spring, into the beginning summer, but it's going to happen again where people will say the market's extended and they're going to try to short it again. And it could do another type of double triple top thing again, and people will short it again, and then that isn't going to work, and then that's going to push the market higher, and this is how this whole year is really going to play out. It's going to help the lift that the market's going to make this year, because the SPY is going to 300 this year, and I saw it last year at the, in the end of last year, the fall of 2000, and the fall of 2014, I saw that the market would do this, and that's incredible that I could see something that far out, but I saw the strength of it. I saw the institutional positioning, and I saw the money. One of the most important things that I'm going to talk about tomorrow in more depth in the trading room and, and uh, it is just so important is conviction. Conviction is something that I talk about a lot. I actually think I need to talk about it more this year than ever before. I talked about it a lot when I started the business. I talked about it a lot with my friends when I started to make money trading myself alone before I started the business. And I've gotten away from it a little bit because I've talked about it so much that I've been talking about other things. But I really, this year, have to talk more and more and more and more about conviction. What is conviction? Conviction is a strong belief. A strong belief. A belief that is not shaken. That's what it is. That's how I trade. So in other words, you have 100% conviction in the Golden Gap 26-point rating system if you do it with me. And I have 100% conviction in the 26-point rating system. And if a gap doesn't work on the live day that I rate well and it fails and I lose money in the gap, I don't lose conviction in the system because I understand that something may have happened that day that made the gap not work. I go back, I reevaluate it, I look at it. If there's something there that I need to see, to learn from, I do. But usually there's a reason why it may not work on the day and I accept the one loss or if you did a retake in the trade, you stop. 
but I don't lose conviction in the system because I understand the overall principles of the system, which is that it reads an institutional positioning in stocks and the market, and way more gaps that rate 20 points or more work that don't. And many times when a gap does not work that rates well, there's a reason why, and I see it. Usually if I see it right away, or if not, I do an evaluation. But conviction means that you stay the course, continue to trade, move forward, and do what you know and have conviction in. When people are new to something or learning, they're building that conviction. But it's something that you constantly, consistently have to strengthen within yourself day after day after day because you cannot have too much conviction. You just can't because you will be tested as you always are when you're moving forward as a trader, risking more money, making more money. As time goes on, the longer you're doing this, you will be tested. It always happens that you get tested and what gets tested, it's really your conviction that's getting tested. And the market tries to shake you and frazzle you up. Will you move forward? Will you meet the challenge? It's something that I am constantly able to do whenever it happens. It does not happen as often to me now as it did at the beginning, but I got to give myself credit. I made it through and figured this stuff out and found my way to profitability years ago because I did really truly have 100% conviction in the information that I figured out in the Golden Gap rating system and I stayed with it. And that is how I'm able to make the call I'm making in the market. Despite the bearish gaps that happen, despite all of the noise where other people are sending me emails and saying stuff in webinars that the market was broken, was going to fall, despite the 27 red bars that were in the market in the last three months, I kept reevaluating, looking at the rating system, looking at the price, looking at the institutional positioning that was in the market, which I know in the gap rating system, and I held the conviction. And now you see it. So one of the reasons uh, trading is challenging is because you have to stay the course of the conviction. And many people, first of all, don't have anything to grab hold of, to even have conviction of. I'm giving people in the class when they take the class what to grab hold of. The 26-point rating system. Grab it, hold it, have the conviction. Most of the gaps are right, rate 20 points or more work. A few do not. If you follow the system and are disciplined, you will make money. But the conviction is something you need to trade. And I don't care what you do. And if you don't have it, you won't be successful. So people had conviction the market was assured. It was the wrong thing to think. They may still think the market's assured even after today, which doesn't make sense. But it's because they are trapped in their ego. There's a difference between conviction and ego. And this will be too long of a discussion for the video tonight, but I'm going to talk about it more in the trading room tomorrow. There can be no ego in your trading. Confidence and conviction is one thing. Ego, greed, fear is another. Okay, the ego actually goes with the side of the greed and the fear kind of mentality. Conviction goes with the confidence. All right, and the level of information that you know. And this is where you, it all has to combine and mesh. It's about a balance. But holding the conviction and having the conviction, you're never, you're never going to be wrong if you do that. You will be profitable if you stay the course with the conviction with the 26-point rating system. But ego creates a problem for people. And there are people that egotistically think the market's extended and is going to fall again. And then if this is a retest of a previous high that's going to break. And if we gap down tomorrow, that'll give people, you know, another reason to get in heavy or short. And people are going to get hurt. I mean, people actually are already hurt today from this. The market really wouldn't have held this aggressively here today as it did. Look at this. I mean, this is real strength. So this is probably the low of the year for the 2015 in the market. Let's look at the 15 minute. Again, you could have gone long aggressively out of the gate. The SPY held better than the QQQs this morning because the QQQs to break the low quickly and bounce with the SPY held all along. Here's the 15 minute in the SPY. And again, the target really was, it, you know, 210. The market could have gone to 210. As it turns out, it went to 209, which is still a nice run. 
and I was tight with the stop here in the afternoon to lunch because because it's a 15 minute and because of where the market was gapping and because of the whole look of this whole thing. But what I really liked about this, let me go back here. Jenny can't see any of this, but here was the entry. What I liked about this was this. This looked really good here. And then that's why I did that. And there was Target in it. I mean, there was Target in it, and that's, that was the other reason. I'm out of this now, and again, it's the market closes in 10 minutes, and no one should be trading until the close. But uh, I just understand conviction. I understand how to stay with something. I mean, I do understand it. I, I fully, fully know what it, I, it's a, it's part of me. It's part of my cellular makeup now, conviction. Having conviction, it's, it's who I am. It's, it's actually how I would describe the person that I am, the trader that I am, the woman that I am. And it's something that you can learn from me. And I actually think it's imperative if you want to be successful as a trader, not just a day trader, but a swing trader. You have to understand, feel it, know it, live it, breathe it, conviction. Because if not, you're all over the place, shorting the market one minute, buying the market the next. I mean, you know, it's just one of these things. So 2015 is going to be an incredible year for the U.S. stock market. It's going to be very volatile, swings in both directions. But the overall direction of the market is staying intact and is intact and never was broken, which is bullish. Market will continue up here, continue to make new highs. And the target for the SPY by the end of the calendar year, I have no idea when it gets there, is 300. And that's a phenomenal number because from where we opened this year, that would mean a 30% run in the market. It will be unprecedented, the bullish move that the market has this year. Barring any unforeseen world calamities or wars, which of course could happen, the SPY will hit 300 this year. Uh, it will be one of the largest, most significant, most bullish years the stock market has ever had in history since the inception of the stock market. So for those of you that don't understand how to read this, you can take my gap class. I teach a bearish gap class and I am teaching in March a bullish gap class, which you can sign up for. The cost of the class is increasing as of March 1st. And I think it's very important for people to know how to trade this year. I think this is one of these years where of all the years you've ever traded, which you should know how to trade before you risk money, no matter who you are, or how much money you have, or no matter when you started trading. This is one of these years where you really need to understand and know what to do and have a mentor like me to help train you and show you and tell you what the market's doing and what stocks to watch each day. Because without a quality mentor and without a quality system and a strict discipline this year, as someone as a trader, you may have a very challenging year. And people will not be able to sustain themselves through this year if they keep doing things that they used to do that aren't going to work. And that's going to make more potential profit for people like me who do know what to do this year. And for people that are training with me and following me in the room with me. Because people that are following me in the room this year that are listening to what I'm saying about the market are going to have the most benefit. Because I talk about the market every day in the room and I talk about the individual stocks that I like. Okay. So have a wonderful evening, everyone. If you'd like to sign up for the bullish gap class in March or the bearish gap class, the bearish gap class is February 21st and 22nd. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone, and have a fantastic day tomorrow morning.